Fresh off of her MVP award, Tamika Catchings of the Indiana Fever just popped in to tell us a little bit more about her Catch the Stars Foundation and completely annihilate Tanisha Johnson in a game of 101. Check it out. One of the things I remember as a young girl is just wanting to fit in, you know, wanting to be normal, wanting to be like everybody else. And had I listened to the people that said I would never make it and the people that made fun of me and, you know, if had I, my parents allowed me not to go to school because I just didn't want to go to school anymore, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Today on the Terry Lee Cam, we take you inside the Conceco Fieldhouse where the Indiana Fever is making their sixth consecutive playoff appearance. with Tamika Catchings from the Indiana Fever. First off, let me just say thank you for having an interview with Real Scene TV today. Okay, um, let's just get right into it. Talk to us about how you got started. I know your father, Harvey Catchings, played for NBA. Was he inspiration for you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think for me, from a very young age, um, just being around, I mean, we grew up around basketball because when I was born, obviously my father was still playing. But you know, I think as we got older, one of the things that my parents encouraged us to do was uh, participate in sports. And soccer was my first sport, actually. My first goal that I can remember, like, ever, was when I was in seventh grade. And I said that I wanted to be a professional basketball player. And I wanted to play in the NBA. And I was going to be, you know, one of the, the few female hoopers, you know, out there that would be able to play, you know, that would be able to play in the same, you know, in the same league with the guys. And that was, that was my dream. This year you received MVP, which a lot of people feel was overdue. How does it feel to be recognized? It feels good. You know, it, it does. And, and all, you know, everybody knows how I am. Compare championship to the MVP, I definitely would rather have a championship. You know, um, but winning the MVP, I mean, it's definitely an honor. Tell us a little bit about your Catch on Fitness Clinic. Yeah, we have the Catch on the Fitness Clinic, and this year is actually our 10th year hosting the clinic. Yeah, I can't believe it. And uh, it's going to be November 19th from 1 to 4 p.m. Admission is 10 can goods or $20. And really our focus around why we do the fitness clinic is to be able to teach kids about giving back. We use the canned goods, we team up with Gleaners Food Bank, and we donate the canned goods for them, to them, for all the people, you know, getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner and for them to have the same opportunity that we have and realize, you know, for the kid to realize that there are pe people out there that are less fortunate. And so, I mean, it's worked really well for us. We're celebrating our 10th year, so, you know, I'm excited about it, and hopefully we'll see everybody out there for boys and girls ages 7 to 14. And if people want to get information about your foundation, where would they go to? Um, you can cut the website, catchthestars.org. 